Hi gamers, and welcome to checking out what games I've added recently to my collection. But uh, first, uh, I got a few items here, uh, two of which are not games, but still games related, so I thought I'd show them to you in this video. I got some gifts from my girl. Uh, first up, I had uh, my birthday. Uh, a couple of days before Christmas, so one of the birthday gifts that she gave me was a new Dreamcast game. She gave me Kiss Psycho Circus. Uh, of course, uh, Psycho Circus isn't uh, that uh, special of a game, but she knew what Kiss was, and I think she had played it as a kid. Not sure, but there was uh, a bit of a story here uh, to this uh, that uh, made her buy it from the uh, list of Dreamcast games I'm still missing. <laughs> and then came Christmas and one of the Christmas presents uh, that she gave me, this was really cool. Uh, a little package of uh, Nintendo Hanafuda cards. And uh, let's open this up. And uh, you know, if you didn't know, Nintendo has been around since 1889. And uh, first they made uh, playing cards, and they were quite uh, well known for it. Uh, there's a, a known legend that uh, Nintendo playing cards were the best, and therefore the Yakuza uh, bought only Nintendo cards. And because the Yakuza didn't like cheating in their card games, they had to buy a new deck of Nintendo cards for every time that they played. So that was the reason why Nintendo sold so many cards. Uh, but yeah, you got here uh, Napoleon in this uh, plastic box, and uh, I believe this is uh, an exact replica, or the cards are exact replicas of the cards that Nintendo made like, you know, a hundred years ago. Here you can see some of them, and uh, yeah, really tiny, tiny deck of cards, but you got the Nintendo logo here and some certificate of authenticity here, a sticker. I'm, I'm gonna keep this sealed because uh, it's a really cool item, uh, a piece of Nintendo history, and uh, yeah, really, really nice, nice little gift. And then uh, Valentine's Day came, and one of the gifts that she gave me was uh, the book, Zelda book, um, Art and Artifacts. I previously had the Hyrule Historia book, which uh, has, you know, the same same kind of theme going on, just the green cover, and uh, she picked up on that and uh, knew that I, I would probably want this book as well. And yeah, this is uh, a really, really uh, a gorgeous book. There's pretty much every piece of artwork that you've ever seen uh, for every Zelda game before um, Breath of the Wild. There's some Breath of the Wild stuff here as well, but uh, yeah, everything except the CDI Zeldas. Really, really, there's, you know, almost no text at all, so just pictures and um, for pages and pages and pages. Really cool stuff. I was wondering if uh, if you guys uh, would be interested in, you know, me flicking through every page of this book and maybe every page of the Hyrule Historia book. Uh, let me know in the comments if, if uh, you would enjoy uh, these books at all, uh, like that. So yeah, pretty good gifts I received. Good stuff. And uh, then to the games itself. Let's start here with uh, Switch games. Got Dragon Quest Builders. Of course, uh, uh, I should have my girlfriend here uh, for the third time. She joined me a couple of times before in my recent collecting video, but she's the expert at this game. Uh, she's been hooked to it first on the PlayStation 4 and now on the Switch. Uh, really, really addicting. Um, building and uh, cave exploration and uh, yeah, really good stuff. And then I got Cinemora X or EX uh, for the Switch. Uh, this is a 2D shooter and uh, they, they uh, invented uh, 
this nice little unique twist on on uh, the formula that uh, you don't really uh, lose uh, energy, you lose time. There's a timer on, you know, when you get hit. There's a timer uh, for each level and uh, you get more time when you kill enemies and you lose time when you get hit. And uh, you can also slow down time, uh, uh, you know, to navigate tricky uh, spots and uh, yeah, it's a uh, uh, it, it looks good, plays, plays nicely, and the time manipulation is a uh, fresh take on the genre. Uh, there's a lot of, um, mm, uh, you know, plot here, a lot of uh, spoken dialogue, uh, lots of cursing. It, it kind of feels like uh, I'm a bit uh, put off by, by the dialogue. Uh, it, it tries to be quite mature uh, and uh, falls a little bit short, but uh, still uh, I'd say that it has more plot than your average uh, 2D shooter, for sure. And then for the Switch I got um, Bayonetta 1 and 2. I, I did the unboxing for the special edition, that was my previous video, check it out if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, uh, of course uh, Bayonetta uh one is it's a it's a pretty old game and that kind of shows you know it has some uh has some uh issues with the pacing and uh the QTEs that get you killed instantly and uh yeah you can see uh, kind of see the rough around the edges even though it has been remastered uh, first on the Wii U and uh, then on the PC I I think and now uh the definitive uh console version is here and uh, Bayonetta 2 is, of course, a lot better. Uh, it was exclusive exclusive on the Wii U, and uh, it's nice to have uh, on the Switch as well. Continuing on with the uh, with the series of uh, Wii U ports on the Switch. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to the third game in the series. It's just a bit of a shame that the uh, number one uh, is uh, only a download code inside here, so... We got Bayonetta 2 and, yeah, as a game card and number one as a download. Uh, they should really, really fix that uh, uh, issue with the small game cards. Uh, you know, they can produce bigger game cards so that they can fit pretty much any game on it, but they cost a bit more. But uh, yeah, they really should ramp up production so that each game. Uh, comes uh, on a physical card, so no, no download uh, shenanigans uh, in the future, please. And then a couple of uh, 3DS games. We got a Kirby Battle Royale and Mario Party, the top 100. I think this is a good idea for a Mario Party to pick uh, the best ones out of the lot, you know, uh, any given Mario Party game has uh, their fair share of bad uh, mini games. but uh, yeah, this is a nice uh, nice collection, I just wish uh, this came out on the Switch. It's, um, it's the perfect, uh, perfect uh, party game machine, in my opinion. And then uh, we got some uh, PlayStation 4 games. I got Secret of Mana, and uh, I gotta tell you, I'm gonna just keep this sealed. I got it for only collecting sake, because uh, apparently the game isn't very good. Uh, it doesn't really look good, you know, whereas the Super Nintendo original was really charming in its 2D graphics. Uh, the remake here, it's, you know, has some pretty, pretty standard 3D graphics, and uh, lost some of its charm uh, during the translation there. There are apparently some, some other issues with it as well, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep it sealed at least. It has one of the best covers ever. Uh, it's uh, fun to see uh, it in a different shape than on the Super, uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, well, I guess I could pull it here from the shelf. Uh, different orientation and uh, you can see a lot more uh, here of the same artwork so yeah <laughs> then also did an unboxing of this we got here uh, next machina for the PlayStation 4 
this is uh, the collector's edition uh, and the physical edition, both the collector's edition and the normal edition came from uh, Limited Run Games and uh, the developer, which is Finnish, Housemark, wanted uh, me to unbox this, uh, unbox this uh, and uh, I was uh, uh, very happy to help them. A fantastic game, really great old school action. Hard as nails, uh, looks absolutely great, fantastic uh, techno soundtrack. Uh, if you haven't played this, uh, download it, you won't regret it. And then something for the Xbox One. I finally got Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, I'm a bit late to the party, but uh, uh, the game is great. <laughs> Uh, I recently got the Xbox One X and uh, all my friends uh, play uh, multiplayer games on the PlayStation 4 so that's uh, part of the reason why I've gotten all the multi-platform games uh, this generation for the PlayStation 4 but now that I got the X which is uh, more powerful than the PlayStation 4 Pro which I also have uh, it's. Uh, I think I'm going to be getting all the uh, multi-platform single-player games on the Xbox One. Um, I played the first three Assassin's Creed uh, from through and through uh, on the Xbox 360, and I loved them. But uh, you know, they made like seven or was it eight Assassin's Creed games on that generation. It, that's crazy. You know, I was totally burned out after the third, uh, third game uh, and there were more on the way. I, I couldn't even fi finish the previous game when they had already announced the next one and, I, you know, I just couldn't play them anymore. So uh, now uh, I finally, they finally made the game different enough for me to get back in and of course there had been many years here in between so uh, I think it was high time for me to get back into Assassin's Creed and I uh, don't regret it. Uh, the setting is great, not too many Egyptian games out there and uh, the theme fits quite well, uh, Assassin's Creed. And uh, of course, you know, the RPG elements uh, are always uh, addicting and, uh, you know, the loot system, you find one new uh, weapons and uh, you assign your uh, ability points to the ability tree and uh, skill tree and uh, it's just, just a great RPG light uh, experience. Uh, I wasn't that into the characters themselves. Uh, what happened to them was a bit of a, I don't know, I, I, I just, for some reason I didn't care that much. But uh, uh, all in all, uh, of course, the main attraction in Assassin's Creed is, you know, uh, looking at the map and traveling to new, new locations and uh, finding everything, every treasure and uh, finishing every location. And uh, it's just uh, so addicting and I was really happy to get back into Assassin's Creed uh, again after a long pause. And one final game, it's for the Wii U. I got a new variant. Uh, here we have Hunter's Trophy 2 Europa. And this is the third and hardest to find variant. Uh, with the uh, gun that's uh, black and wood colored. There is uh, one, uh, one variant with uh, a whole white gun and one variant with uh, a holy black gun, but the, this one with the black and wood coloring, it's uh, it's by far the rarest. And uh, I was tipped off by some uh, fellow a gamer or collector uh, on Instagram that hey somebody is selling this on Facebook, and I did, uh, didn't even join the Facebook sale group. I just sent the guy a message, and then I sent money. <laughs> to him to the UK and luckily I got a game there. So that's uh, that's uh, one variant to cross off my Wii U list. And uh, uh, yeah, speaking of Wii U, uh, there's only 
I think there's only one game still coming to it, that's the Axiom Verge, and uh, the developer has been asked many, many times on Twitter uh, when is the physical edition of Axiom Verge coming to Wii U, and the developer says they hit some snacks, but it's definitely coming. Uh, after I get Axiom Verge, I'm gonna do my complete Wii U game collection. I'm still gonna be missing some variants, but that's okay. I still got every uh, unique Wii U game there has been. So, waiting for the Axiom Verge and uh, then uh, my final Wii U collection <laughs> uh, uh, display uh, video extravaganza is coming. So, t stay tuned for that. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Finn Gamer everywhere. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.